Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for clicking on this video. And thank you for clicking that like button. Now this is part of a video series titled Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2021. And uh, in this particular video, we're focusing on a wide receiver, a wide receiver that's pretty well known in the league. And I've certainly seen him on this list a fair few times in the past. You know, throughout this series, we have heard a particular term uh, be thrown around, especially when it comes to wide receivers. And that term is the wiggle. And I'll tell you right here, right now, that there's no other player in the league that has a better wiggle, so to speak, as Keenan Allen. So with all that in mind, it's time we get into the video. But first, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Redcon1. What's going on, guys? It's me again. First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Redcon1. Now, for anyone who's been around this YouTube channel for any length of time, you may know, or you may not, that the reason I begun this channel was to do with bodybuilding and fitness. In fact, I've always had a passion for bodybuilding and fitness, and I still do. So it made sense to finally connect with a worldwide trusted supplement brand. And the one that I've chosen for this YouTube channel is Redcon1. Now personally, I've been using Redcon 1 products for a good five years. The first product I ever used was Total War. It's a pre-workout. I don't use pre-workouts all the time, but if I do, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going straight for that Total War. You know, Redcon 1 as a brand is going from strength to strength. Head over to their website and check out their entire range of products. It's not just Total War, and it's certainly not just supplements. They've got everything. So, whether you are from the United States, whether you're from Canada, or whether you're from the UK and Europe, you have an opportunity to head down into the description box below, check out the website link for whichever of the three regions you're in, use code T20JMC. So that's T20JMC, for 20% off your order. And look, whether it's a t-shirt, a snapback, or a tub of Total War, I can guarantee you're gonna be happy. Once again, this video is brought to you exclusively by Redcon1. Myself and my YouTube channel are proud to be partnered with Redcon1. Head down into the description box below, check out all of the information, and uh, well, happy lifting, guys. And peace out. Right, guys, here we are, and uh, it looks as if we're first of all gonna hear from fellow offensive player not fellow teammate, but certainly fellow offensive player, fellow fellow member of the 2021 NFL Top 100. It's Travis Kelsey. Let's see what he has to say about Mr. Wiggle, Keenan Allen. Do you watch the show? I'll watch the the clips that you guys send out of like certain guys that I like. You know what I mean? Like so, like when you guys do my brother, or, I don't know, Keenan Allen. <laughs> okay, that's good. Interesting point though, something I've never heard before, that they send out clips to players to watch before they come and sit down and do these interviews. And if there's one player that Travis Kelsey will sit down and watch, it's Keenan Allen. Still best player on the field, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Keenan Allen, a lot of people say he's the best or one of This would be interesting. This will be interesting. A lot of people say he's the best at running routes in the league. Well, what does the man on the opposite side of the ball think? Trey White. The best route runners in the league. Uh, yeah, and whoever said that, they're telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I must admit, guys, from what I've seen so far, I agree. The guy's footwork is unbelievable. His acceleration at his height and weight and his ability to... It's the way he sets up his releases. It's the way he sets up his cuts, you know, his curls, his his turns, his, his routes at the end of the day. He's got a lot of flair and it shows out in the field because he plays with it. The take off, but at the same time, sit his route down and break guys off is, I mean, it's second to none. Every Look at single that. game is almost like a highlight film of him breaking dudes off. His footwork, his ability to set. Breaking dudes off, is that what they call it? When you're running with your opposite man, you hit him with a wee wiggle and break off. Yes, he is extremely good at that. He keeps you guessing. He's always liable to mix it up. Hesitation, body position up, body position. You try and mark that. Position down. You know, inside release doesn't always give you X, Y, and Z routes. An outside release doesn't always give you X, Y, and Z routes. I like that. That's just what makes him so lethal. In fact, one of the things I do recall about Keenan Allen is his stop and go. It's his his dead leg, it's his goose step, it's, uh, it's a move that I've always loved, it's a move that I've always enjoyed watching and doing. 
And if I see it on the football field, it actually hits home, probably a little bit more than what you'd expect. Best route runner in the NFL, in my opinion, his ability to sell you one thing but do another and just leave guys falling all over the place. In 2020, Keenan Allen hauled in a... Fuck, he's good. Fuck, he's got a nice release. Seriously. I've got to break that shit down. If we can get a nice camera angle that's close enough, we'll break it down. 100 passes. Through the first 100 games of his career, he had more receptions than any receiver in NFL history. Oh my gosh, that sidestep is just so clean. So clean. But what was that stat? Games of his career, he had more receptions than any receiver in NFL history. Wow. Through the first 100 games, more receptions than any wide receiver in NFL history. I'm going to say he's got 800 receptions. And with that in mind, let's look up his stats. He has officially 624, not 800, sorry, <laughs> I overestimated there. Um, 100 games, 624 receptions, 7,397 yards, 42 touchdowns, 15 rushing attempts for 99 total yards and an average of 6.6, .6, which is not bad. Uh, no rushing touchdowns. 12 fumbles in 100 games, eight of which were uh, not recovered. Now, just for your knowledge, a uh, bit of a bit of a random fact, in his rookie year, he got 1,000 yards. He got eight receiving touchdowns. It took him another four years to reach 1,000 yards again. In 2017, 1393. 2018, he had 1196. 2019, he had 1199. And 2020, having played just 14 games, just came up short of the 1,000 yard mark. He got 992 from 100 receptions at an average of 9.9. .9. With eight receiving touchdowns for the year, which actually equals his rookie year as his best year with eight. But going back to the original stat, 100 games, 624 receptions. Keenan Allen is definitely one of the best receivers in the league, for sure. Do you know what? I want to check that. I'm going to look up Mike Evans and see just how close he was, or is. He might not have even played 100 games. No, he has. He's played 106 games. So for a guy that goes out and scores 1,000 yards a year, 106 games, 532 receptions. So, so we're talking around about five receptions per game, but an average per reception of 15.5 yards, whereas Keenan Allen is averaging around about 6.24 receptions per game, but averaging slightly lower receiving yards per reception with 11.9. Anyways, let's continue. His quickness off the line, his burst. He's so sudden. He does a great job of selling his routes. Making you think he's going to go deep, but he's breaking down. And so that's the challenge. See, that's the thing, right? He's got such an ability to juke suddenly, as Trey said. That you'd be forgiven for thinking that whatever direction he's traveling in at the moment, he's going to cut back. But then you think, well, he's got the stop and go, right? He's got the dead leg, which he can bring out whenever he wants, which is going to, which is going to possibly look as if he's going to cut, but then he's going to continue in the same direction, having slowed down to an almost dead stop and then continue through the move that is called the dead leg. Um, yeah, not easy to cover whatsoever. And he can catch too. I was actually kind of surprised by like how big he was. And he makes a tough catches. Caught by Keenan. What a wow. clutch grab for Keenan Allen. Has to reach over the head of Carlton Davis and then bends his feet backwards to drop. What an incredible catch. But speaking of how big he is, well, how big is he? He's six foot two. That is that is not small. And on a good day, he might even be a hundred kgs. Sizable. Them inbounds. There's certain nuances to running routes. What's up? That's her and guys have he's one of those. And he's passionate about it. I tell you what, I just love the hop. It's the hop. He gets in the air. You don't know what he's gonna do. He doesn't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> and that's the beauty of it. Wide open to Keenan Allen for the touchdown. Hey, that's crazy. Keenan just runs away from him. He just kind of jukes him. And then he just uses that big body to shield Marcus Williams from making the play.
Keenan. Yeah, he pretty much makes the list every year. Every year, man. Every year. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Remember to head down into the description box below and check out our exclusive video sponsor for today. And with all that being said, I will see you back here shortly to check out number 54 on the list. Grady Jarrett. That should be a bit of fun and I'll see you then. Peace out guys.